What's up guys and welcome back to Cafe Owner Simulator. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we got not one, but two new emails. Both wonderful job opportunities for us, but I don't think I'm going to do the both of them today. I think what I want to do instead is just pick one of the two. Afterwards, we can come back here to our own cafe and just try to spruce the place up a little bit. It's... It's kind of dull looking, if I'm being honest. So let's get in here quick, and we'll see what we're going to be working on today. Cafe on the beach or cafe on the hill. You know what? These came in sort of in order, so I think I should just do them in order. This one was for 8,000 buckaroonies, this one for 10. So let's do the $8,000 job at the cafe on the beach. We've got a lady down here saying, we plan to open a typical seaside cafe here with a nice interior. We've already done the walls. Convenient. Okay, that's one less thing for us to do, I suppose. Uh, choose a covering for the ceiling and floor, take out all the trash, restore everything that's broken, and create an interior and decor that, yeah, I know the rest. They say the exact same thing for every single job, I swear. Also, what's with the shopping carts? Why are there just shopping carts all over the place? The trash, I understand, but the shopping carts don't really make much sense. Unless this used to be a grocery store once upon a time. You might actually call those a different name. Like, my, my wife calls these buggies because she's from the south, you know? I don't get it. I don't get it. Hey, not judging, though. Not judging. Let's get inside this place, and we'll see... How much work we actually need to do. You know, it's not a very big establishment. And I don't see any hidden staircases or anything. Doesn't look like we can go out this way, which is kind of a shame. One way entry into this joint, but I like it. Let's get all this trash cleaned up. And then we'll see uh, We'll see what we're working with here. I am unfortunately still on the mend, though I'm feeling much much better today my my throat and like my sinuses like my congestion that's that's about the only thing oh it's about the only thing that's bugging me at this point i i really wanted the beach ball also i just wanted to be able to walk out on the dock here but um that's cool guess we don't need to do that anyways let's go oh i forgot this moss my bad i got it from the inside I've literally cleaned everything except for that one spot. Let me just make sure there's none on the very front of the building. There is not. Dude, this place has a nice parking lot, too. That's something that I feel like a lot of the other properties really don't have. Let's hop up here really quick, though. Repair all the damaged roof panels. Then we'll hop back downstairs and maybe we can maybe we can tackle, like, the, the railing just underneath us next. Ooh, can. Okay, I gotta put the hammer away. There we go. So there must just be three cans. That's not the right tool for the job. There must just be three cans then per property. Because it, it seems like that's all I'm finding. If there is a fourth, it's a very, very well hidden. I feel pretty dumb right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna blame the COVID brain fog. Okay? I'm gonna this will be the last time that I blame it, but there's more moss. If that's not bad enough though. There's more moss. Don't know how I missed these. It's pretty obvious. Okay, now I think we're officially done with the cleaning portion. You know what? I can I can just check. Yes, cleaning, 100% done. It's official. We're moving into repair now. We're already 42% of the way done with that. Let's let's start with the windows and then then we'll do the railing. Windows are just a little faster. Definitely a little easier to take care of. This place is going to let in a ton of natural light, dude. I, that's what I really like about our cafe, like our personal cafe. As soon as we're able to unlock more rooms up on our, our second floor area, I definitely want to make sure that we're doing that. Because then I think we'll, we'll really get a lot more natural light. And we're done. I'm pretty sure. Let's check our task list again. Repair 100% as well. So that brings us now to walls, floors, and the ceiling. I definitely want to try to pick something beachy, you know, as, as beachy as it can be anyways. So I'm going to have a look through the store and I'll see what I can find. 
It's, it's not letting me paint the walls. Oh, that's right. The lady had said that they kind of already did the walls, or they did the drywall. I guess that means they painted it how they wanted it as well. I kind of wish I would have known that. Well, I did know that, but I kind of wish I would have remembered that before I started on their brand spanking new ceiling design. It extends all the way out until the little, the little, uh, covered patio area here at the very front of it i i think it's cool i think it's very beachy for sure but who knows if they'll like it anywho i want to get some lights in here let's see how many lights they actually need three in total so let's grab just three lights here from the store really quick that way we can actually see what's going on there it is ladies and gents get a load of this does that not look fantastic I mean, it is just chef's kiss. It, it really, really is truly, truly beautiful. And you know what? Their wallpaper work and whatever else they got going on over here doesn't really clash with the ceiling necessarily. I don't love the floor with it, but it's fine. Definitely don't want to redo the floor over again. Also out here, this is hardwood since it's kind of like a, a patio type space. I don't think we're going to be able to put any uh, tables and chairs out here. I think it's purely just sort of the entrance. Moving right along then, let's see what we need next. We're 23% of the way done with the interior already. We need five tables, a register, two decor, two entertainment. And way down there at the bottom, it says that we need two bio toilets. So two porta potties, porta johns. We'll just set some up right over here. We are nowhere near finished with this property yet. And I can already tell you guys that I would happily eat here just because of this view. It is absolutely spectacular. Also, it turns out we can put tables and chairs on the patio area. So I went ahead and put three out here. And then we've got two inside for a grand total of five, which is all that they wanted us to add. We've got our cash register, uh, the three lamps we've already done, two decoration pieces, which are just two little like poster boards. Super simple, super easy. This is the one location or the first location where I think we might actually be able to fit something larger for entertainment than just the, uh, the arcade machine. So we've got a ping pong table right there and a jukebox, an old school jukebox, just chilling right there. So uh, let's add all the kitchen stuff. You guys know how we usually do that. It's just time consuming. It, it's not like it looks very cool when you're placing this stuff down. So we're just gonna gloss right over that as we usually do, get this whole kitchen squared away and uh, we'll take a look at it at the end of things. You know, the owner of this place really did throw us a couple of curveballs as far as like what they wanted included in their kitchen, three sinks. They needed three sinks in here. I'm assuming it's just for their three chefs, which in hindsight does make complete and total sense. But then two ovens, two fryers, two grills, two, I almost said popcorn machine. That is an ice cream machine, 100%. But we are officially done in here. Don't think there's anything else for us to do. I, I really do like this this place, I think it came together nicely, but the kitchens are always just so weird, you know? It's back to the grind now, back to the grind, our own personal grind. We're done grinding for other people, dude, That it's weird. They don't pay us enough to do that anyways. The first thing I wanna work on here, I think is gonna be the floor because this is the default floor texture and it just looks bad. It looks very, very old. So we're gonna hop into the store and we'll see what we can find. I just don't like any of these hardwoods. So I'm gonna see what concrete would look like. 
that's actually not terrible. But I think I think when the whole floor is covered in that, it would look kind of strange. Dude, it's just so hard to pick a good floor covering. There also aren't too many options, to tell you the truth. You know what? This one's kind of sick for our kitchen. It's stereotypical, sure, but I like it. I, I think I'm going to do that for just this area where our, uh, where our chefs hang out, also known as the kitchen. What if we did this, like, cleaner-looking tile elsewhere? I kind of don't hate that, actually. I mean, we might not do it for the, like, eating area up there. But for the main entrance, that doesn't look too shabby. I think the main entrance and the kitchen look a lot brighter already just by changing the floor. So up in the eating area, I wanted to do something kind of opposite of that. You know, I wanted a dark hardwood floor. And the reason I didn't want to do hardwoods in here is just because all the different colors of hardwood floor clash so bad with this wood type, with this wood type, with this wood type. Whereas in here, we don't really have any other wood types apart from the windows, but we're not going to worry about that. So I think that'll do it for down here. Let's move upstairs now to like the coffee and dessert counter area. You know, this already kind of has a darker, a darker wood tone to it. Let's try that same floor, that same hardwood floor up here. Oh, bills. Right, right, we might want to pay those, huh? As for the walls, though, I would, honestly, I would repaint them in some areas if the game offered some other colors, like just some neutral colors. Since we've got so much money now, I... Every time. I swear, it's like every time I'm trying to say anything, there's a super loud flyover. Anyways, uh, since we've got so much money now, 33,000 big ones to be exact, I want to head into my restaurant so we can finally expand the second floor. That's going to be 9,000 bucks and then 16,000 to get the second floor terrace. Yikes. Okay, I had no idea all this trash was hiding up here. That kind of freaks me out a little bit just to know that it was here the whole time and we couldn't clean it until just now. Garbage removal. Of course, let's get that going. But I think I think this will give us, you know, just more seating. That'll definitely be nice because a lot of the a lot of the cafe guests or the coffee dessert guests have been sitting down here. Just there's not enough room for them all up here. Now that we've got all the trash cleaned up, start replacing a couple of these windows. These have been broken for so long. It honestly feels really good just having these these few windows replaced. There we go. All right. Uh, last thing we need to do is just kind of make this room look like all of our other rooms. So we're going to paint the ceiling white. We're going to paint the walls white. And then the floor, the floor, I suppose, we'll just do the same wood floor that we've got in here. Keep things simple. Here I am thinking I'm installing the wrong floor panel. But um, as it turns out, that's just the way shadows look in this game. Just very harsh lined shadows. So to fix that, I think all we need to do is grab ourselves a new light and that is not straight whatsoever okay we'll get it we'll get it close enough but it doesn't need to be perfect and that will go right about there we're still kind of casting a bit of a shadow over here so let's try one more just in the center of that line it's still there it's still you know what it'll probably always be there too because there there used to be a wall there once upon a time it's fine let's Let's sell this, it's a little bit too bright, and we'll fill this area with just a couple more tables and chairs. So, for those of you that don't know, I'm not using the four-seater table and chair sets because there's really no reason to. The game simply does not allow more than one person to sit down at a table at, uh, at a time. So, two-person tables and chairs it is, right? We've got one, two, three, four, and five additional tables in here now over here though we're gonna go into oh special is what it's in special we have a claw machine this is something that we unlocked after completing one of those uh email jobs i'm not sure which one but oh that actually needs power can people can people play this because that's really cool let's get this plugged in right there can we use it no it doesn't look like we can but our customers might be able to which I'm really looking forward to uh, to watching them do that. 
kind of creepy that we're just watching our customers. But hey, is what it is, right? Anywho, I think after I get this, <clears throat> excuse me, after I get this repaired and the fire marshal comes in and goes, then I think we'll be ready to, uh, to open things back up once again. Inspector Lewis, he really is a piece of work. Oh wait, we must have a minimum of three working smoke detectors. That's it? Okay, I didn't really realize that. Also, another, another super, super loud plane, dude. Like, what kind of plane is that? Let's head into management here really quick so we can pay our premium for all of our employees. Just make sure they're fully motivated and ready for the busiest day of their lives. We've got two chefs. We've got one person at the cafe counter, I guess we'll call it, the, the coffee counter. And then we've got Jessica delivering food. We can also hire a cleaner, which could be nice, but it's for 50 additional dollars per day. I think I will continue to take care of the trash for now. That may change eventually, but let's go ahead and open things up. Any minute now, the customers are going to be lining up because we are open. Look who it is. Look who decided to show up again. 15 bucks is all. Yeah, dude, have at it. Pretty easy to keep him happy. Okay, we've got a pepperoni pizza and a big make. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, ladies. Let's get after it. You know, I probably should have checked our food store as well, just to make sure we actually have all the ingredients that we'll need today. Order up, two orders up, and we've got another lady standing right in front of us. A chicken bail gale. Thank you so much. And we've got to get our mop out, dude. It is getting busy already. Actually, I don't, I don't really feel like cleaning. I don't. I, I just don't feel like cleaning. We've already done so much of that today. So, where was that at? Management? Let's hire a cleaner. We'll see uh, We'll see how good of a job they do. Got this guy right here. The Sky Sushi. Who wouldn't want sushi that tastes like air, right? And then I need to... I just need to keep monitoring upstairs. Just in case somebody decides to play that claw machine. I, I gotta see that. Next order is gonna be an Amber Gale. Got you. And a curry pizza. Comes with mud and tires and a lift kit. Where is that? Oh, it's right in front of my face, of course. Sorry, guys. I got a little distracted watching the claw machine. Just standing there, motionless. You might actually try it out. I'd be curious to see if you could actually use the thing. He would like Sushi Philadelphia, the Philly roll, and then once the curry pizza is finished up, we've got another Cheese Bale Gale. Oh, we've got to back out of that. Cheese Bale Gale. Thank you so much, sir. Go have a seat. I still need to be clearing tables. So the person who cleans is cleaning, and they're doing a great job, but... They're still not going to take the cash from the tables, which is good. We need that. They do not. And we only need to sell two more Bell Gales until we can complete Country Pizza. Chase Bell Gale. Okay, make that one Bell Gale until we can complete that task and move on to the next set of challenges. Don't you touch that cheese Bell Gale. Okay, she's going to do it anyways. That's our, that's our last one, so... She can have, she can have fun running that to the customer. And then an Ambel Gale, got you. Is my French getting better or is that just me? I'm kidding, you guys. I know that's not actually French, but it is a pretty bad French accent. That you cannot deny. Uh, sell 15 sushi to customers now. And we're just gonna earn a $400 participation award. So we're not really getting much for for completing these challenges but i'm okay with it you know i'm gonna i'm gonna see the game through to the very end and we are very very fastly approaching that end so having said that ladies and gents i do think that's probably where we're gonna wind things down at for today once again if you guys did enjoy please leave a like leave a comment help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys Peace.